Hey guys, welcome back to Anamorphic Chop Shop. I'm Chit Fahadungs, and in this episode, I'm picking up where I left last week on uh, Mark's video on fixing the Panasonic's issues with chromatic aberration around the edges, close focus, and low light performance by using a plus 0.25 diopter. Once again, thanks to Rob Bannister at Creative Camera Rentals, uh, my associate. Look how fancy I'm getting. And Gearhouse Camera Rentals here in Vancouver for borrowing me the Panasonic. Now, on the shots with the contact size 28mm and the 5D3, it's pretty easy to spot when we have the diopter on because of the massive vignetting it introduces. Also, there's some more spreading light around the source, like a haze, but no real improvement in quality, maybe just a tiny bit. Without the diopter, the taking lens was focused at 1.3 meters, and with the diopter it was focused to 2 meters, which means something has changed in the optical system. Uh, on the on the 35 millimeter, the diop on the 35 millimeter, the vignetting doesn't appear, so it's a 50/50 chance of guessing it right. And I can't tell the difference. We are really pushing the penny here at f 2.8 and a full frame sensor. Now onto the 50D shots. Uh, the 1740 is a great lens and its entire zoom range is covered by the Panasonic. This adapter has a thing for modern wide angles. It pairs perfectly with the 1635 f2.8L as well. And even at the widest end of the 2470mm f2.8, that does perform good. Anyway, back to the test. For me, it was a guessing game. If I hadn't written down which shots I used the diopter, I wouldn't know. I can't tell the difference between having it on and having just the lens with the anamorphic. So, does the diopter really affect uh, chromatic aberration, close focus and low light performance? Or is it just one more thing inside the optical system? Let's try some math and see if the initial idea makes sense. First, we have our taking lens that focus from, let's say, half a meter to infinity. Then, we have the Panasonic focus fixed at 4 meters to infinity. The diopter is a plus 0.25, which means its infinity sits at 4 meters. Now, if we put the diopter in front of our taking lens, we are limiting its infinity down to 4 meters. The Panasonic's focus range starts at 4 meters. So this whole thing should only work well at infinity for the taking lens and the subject sitting at 4 meters from the camera. At least, that's what the math leads us to. In a straight answer, does the diopter improve the Panasonic's image quality if sitting behind the Panasonic and in front of the taking lens? Nope! Of course there are tolerances which allows uh, rack focusing and F4 improves overall sharpness by reducing the circle of confusion so the blurred areas are not so noticeable. Should you put the diopter in front of the Panasonic, now that should give you some advantage because uh, now both the taking lens and the Panasonic are subject to the diopter's uh, effect and your system's infinity now sits at 4 meters. So this was more of a scientific video. Do you guys like this kind of subject? Do you hate it? Do you hate math? Please leave a comment below so I can work on more ideas. And if you like Anamorphics overall, just subscribe, don't even think about it. There's plenty of videos already up and a new one coming each week. Last but not least, head on to my blog for the full and free Anamorphic on a Budget guide. Thank you for watching.